Hey guys, I device help here, and today I want to share with you guys some very cool glitches on the latest versions of iOS 10.3.2 and 10.3.1. Now these are going to be glitches that you guys sent to me, also some that I discovered on my own, and also some new methods of existing glitches on how they work. I'm also going to share with you guys some cool respring methods, so let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so the first one's going to be a respring bug, and this was submitted by Oscar on Twitter, and you bring over the camera just like this, hold the power button while bringing up control center and bringing up the calculator and your device just randomly respring's for no reason it just respring's you check it out here in a few seconds it's going to respring on its own when you cancel it out just like that pretty cool respring bug there on the lock screen now there is another uh respring bug that i discovered a few weeks back where you can swipe over here to the spotlight search bring down the spotlight search and tap and hold on the screen while you keep your thumb there just press on the home button and the keyboard comes up just like that on the home screen just swipe from the top and your device will respring. So two respring methods that are currently possible in 10.3.1 and 10.3.2. This next one's really cool. This next one allows you to remove anything that's inside of the widgets here and you wanna swipe down just the correct amount and then press on the home button. And when you swipe over, boom, you see that? Now this could take several tries. I got it the first try there, but it could take several tries and it just blanks them out completely. Right there, you see nothing at all. So pretty cool, play a prank on your friends. I really like that one. Now for this next one, I want you to go to settings, general accessibilities, and then you want to go to the zoom option here and enable it. Then you want to triple click with three fingers and then you'll get the menu here. Just go full screen. And then you want to swipe this little thing like this all the way to the end and then choose a filter, go low light. Now that's going to dim your screen. Go back once all the way down. You want to go to accessibility shortcuts and then you want to select the option zoom. Now every time you triple click the home button that action is going to happen so you'll see the screen dim. So what you want to do is you want to swipe over on the home page to your second page. Now bring the page down slowly before the keyboard pops up you see this blur effect. Triple click the home button and it's going to freeze everything in place. Nothing's going to move. Now press the home button once and the keyboard pops up in the middle of the screen very super annoying so really fun one try it out i think you guys can annoy some people with this one now this next one's going to be an updated method on how to remove the labels from your icons if you follow me here on youtube you know that if you swipe up here on control center you can go ahead and hold the control center halfway up and press on the home button and your labels will disappear but it takes several tries sometimes it doesn't work the first time you see there uh, well here i got a new method where it works 100 percent of the time what you want to do is bring up control center hold it about halfway up and then press on the home button three times. Now, once we have that filter enable thing that we just did, you see that it right there, it stays frozen in time, just like hovering there. So press the home button once, and then just swipe up one time, boom, gone disappear labels are gone and it works all the time so a new method on how to remove the labels from your icons now i posted a video a few weeks back where you can change the animations of ios of course without a jailbreak you see here zooming in and out so what you want to do here uh, to change the animation is swipe over and then swipe up all the way tap and hold lightly here on the screen and then press on the home button now when i swipe back over it's going to swipe back on its own just like this see that well at that point we're going to press on the home screen and then create a glitch effect and i'll explain myself here so we're going to do this tap and hold lightly press on the home button swipe over and press just like that well i didn't get it in time let me do that again just like that you see how the dock kind of blinked away in and out that makes your animation change now for some users that completely removes the dock i believe if you're running ios 10.2 or below you can do that but of course if you have a, a jailbreak on 10.2 then no need to do a glitch but a really cool effect on how to change the animations in ios now for this next one go to settings general accessibilities and then you want to go to assistive touch and enable it so when you enable it you'll see that bubble there on your screen just go back and then you can swipe over here to the page to the widgets and then swipe it over slowly like that and then press here and press notification center you saw that really cool uh, double screen effect there like a mirrored effect pretty cool i kind of like that now it goes away of course when you release it but it freezes uh the screen halfway through and by the way if you triple click the home button having that filter effect it will freeze ios anywhere just like that you see it freezes it not until you tap it doesn't go away so if you do that and you swipe over you can just go ahead and do this, do that, and then you see that it's halfway glitched out. So pretty cool. Now you can swipe down. It creates this really weird effect. You see there? So it's just kind of fun to see. 
just like that. I want to go ahead and share one more with you guys and that's going to be an application that forces rotation. So for example, landscape mode, just like this one here. So this would be your normal multitasker. Of course, you swipe up to quit apps. So you see there, everything's working fine. But if you have rotation lock enabled here on Control Center, no matter which device you have, if you launch an application that forces the screen to rotate and then you go into the multitasker, you see that all screwed up there. And now you have to swipe to the side to quit applications. This is an actual glitch. I don't see how Apple hasn't gotten to this. It's just something that's really, really there. So hopefully they get to fix that. And uh, that about brings it into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. Much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned. It's been 9 Device Help, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.